for I did not shrink from preaching to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you shower down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it lavished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens, God, who is our salvation. God is our saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageway of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Jesus. 
I have lived a life for the sake of Christ. And I'm so proud of that. Now I'm going to Jerusalem and I do not know my end. I do not know what will happen, but still I will go for the sake of Christ. Sisters and brothers, the passage is such a remarkable testimony of faith, of a servant of God. St. Paul, who is a Jew himself, but then when the Lord touched him, he began uh, you know, an ambassador to Christ. He continued to say, to live is to, um, you know, uh, to live and to die for the sake of Christ is my privilege. So today is three so one of the tearful moments, I think, you know, you, you might have written in tears because he found such a joy, but now his life is coming closer and he's going to Jerusalem. It looks like there's a competition going on in the gospel. Jesus is pleading for all of us and thanking God for the gift of this uh, life on earth that he sent him. And he loved the world and he empowered the world. He taught everything. He revealed everything that, you know, the Father has given to him, to the world and to the people, the chosen one. Now he's praying for us. Father, I pray. Please watch over them. Please watch over them. As you can see the, in the John's Gospel, starting from chapter 14 until 19, these are the final discourse of Jesus before his departure. He will talk about the Holy Spirit, he will talk about the Lord be afraid. He will also pray to God in this all his prayer courses that he prays to God for the people, for the disciples, for the world. And today is very intense that he's offering his whole self and praying to God, please, please bless this world. Probably we need to do this reading again and make it our own prayer. But God bless this world, especially in this pandemic crisis. We can all send forth blessings to all our loved ones, to all our people. It's not right. Lord, you have given the blessing of the faith to me. You have become, you have, you have touched me, and I have become a someone who, who, because of your love, now it is, it is I, it is your turn to share the same love to those who do not even believe you are in our family. So, ask the Lord, Lord, I pray for the ones, my dear ones, who do not believe that they may come closer. Lord, I pray for the one who are really struggling, that they may, you know, come to senses and understand the beauty and beauty of life. And we can pray for all those who are fighting, you know, all kinds of evils in their life. May the Lord God bless all of us. Please stand. Loving God, we bless and thank you. We pray for the universal church and the universe and all people that they may receive grace and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, we pray and thank for the beautiful gift of faith and life that you have bestowed on us as Catholic, as Christians, as people of God. You have helped us, Lord, to have deep devotion and find the joy in loving and serving and praying to you. We pray for all people who do not believe, who have not tasted your goodness, people who refuse to believe. We ask the Lord to open their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord God, we pray for the spirituality of suffering for the sake of others for the love of others. They say that it takes a lot of pain because someone in your family is suffering and so you sacrifice yourself. So Lord God, we pray that our suffering will be included to your own suffering so that we might continue to witness to your love. Give us the grace of God to endure this suffering in this time. We pray to God. Amen. What else would we pray this morning?
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you through the wine book of human hands. It will become for us the spiritual life. Bless be God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted. God the Almighty Father. May the Lord send his sacrifice to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Sanctify our offering by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace we may be set afire with the flame of your love, through which St. John the First overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Yes. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of the blessed martyr, St. John the First, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous work by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the people bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without the end, we are claimed. <laughs> Thanks, broke, he gave it to the disciples. 
disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered into the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Remember, Lord, your church, pray throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, my and our Bishop, and all the clergy. Blessed are for the intentions of all your children gathered here, especially pour out the grace of feeling upon this world. Look kindly upon Sarah Rose and Helen Tracy, who needs your divine complaint. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostle, St. Bernadette, our patron us, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may better to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other this sign of peace.
Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Thank you. 